Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and in this tutorial I'll teach you how to make this procedural milk chocolate texture in Blender. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. And if you want to support the channel and get extra benefits like early access to videos, tutorial files, Discord roles, and so on, make sure to check out the link in the description. Okay, so press X to delete the default cube, then press Shift A, and let's add a monkey. Then press Ctrl 4 to add 4 loop cuts. And then let's add some smooth shading as well. And uh, then next we need to add a background image to get some proper light in the scene. So let's add an environment texture. And then you can find the environment texture in the link in the description. It's just a free background image. Unzip it and then open it in uh, Blender. Okay, so let's open the .hdr image. And then let's go into rendered view. And as you can see, we have the background image. And then next, we need to open a new window. So drag the top right corner. And then we're going to go into the shader editor. And now let's add a new material to the monkey. And also make sure to make the background transparent under Film. And then click New to add a new material. And for this material, we're going to add a Masquerade node. So press Shift A and add the uh, Masquerade texture. Connect it into a uh, base color. And then let's uh, disable the overlay. Set the type to 4D so that you can change the pattern over time. And then we're going to increase the scale. So let's set it to around 10.5. And then let's increase the detail slightly. So around 2.8. And then let's increase the dimension to around 70. I'm also going to decrease the lacunarity value to around 0.9. And then we need to add a uh, color ramp node. Set that in the middle. And then we need to replace the uh, black color with a uh, more uh, chocolate-like brown color. So I'm just going to add the uh, color coordinates and you can copy them. And then I'll probably make the uh, color slightly darker. Okay. And you can see that it's starting to look a bit more like chocolate, but I'm going to make it slightly darker. So something like this, I think that looks nice. And then we can also increase the strength of the background image. And then you can play around with the W value, which uh, is uh, sort of like a uh, different sample. And then you can also play around with the different values for scale, detail, dimension, and uh, so on. Okay. So I think this looks nice. And then next we can add a bump node to make the uh, texture a bit more three-dimensional. So shift A and then search for a bump and then connect color to height and then normal to normal. And then next we can move the camera to view. So press control alt numpad zero. And then press N and then let's lock the camera to view and go a little bit backwards. So something like this for the thumbnail. And then next, we're going to uh, add a uh, plane as the background, just a uh, simple white background. So press Shift A, add a plane, and then press R twice to rotate freely, and press S to scale. And then we're going to add an emission material. And then I'll set the strength to around uh, three. 
OK. And now let's save before we continue. So just uh, save it where we want on the computer. I'm going to create a new folder. And then give the file a name. And then enter to save. And then I'll set the uh, resolution to 4K. And then render. And then render image. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe. And also thank you to the uh, patrons of this channel, Mr. Monkey Shoes and Terry Davis.